Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a 4th of July inspired makeup tutorial. And I wanted to incorporate blue and red since it's 4th of July, but I wanted one color to be a little bit more like predominant. So I went with a red lip and then I did a soft cut crease on my eyes and then I ended up uh, doing like a winged liner and then smoking that out with a blue color. So it had a little bit of blue and a little bit of red, but it wasn't like in your face, like 4th of July makeup, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is the makeup look that I came up with. If you guys like it and you wanna see how I did it, then just keep watching. And don't forget to stay until the end because I ended up filming my outfit that I'm gonna wear for 4th of July. So stay tuned for that at the end. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply a lip scrub to my lips and then apply lip balm over top of that because we're gonna be applying a red lip and this will just make sure that it stays on all day and it applies evenly. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my primer. I'm using the Lancome Perfecting Makeup Primer and this is good for all skin types. It's kind of like a silicone-y base. So it's really good for like blurring out fine lines and texture and things like that. And then for foundation, I'm applying my Air Flash by Dior and then mixing it with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation. And yeah, just applying it all over my face. This is kind of like my go-to combination, especially if I want my fat foundation to be like super, super long wearing. And this is perfect for like a barbecue or going to the beach at night to watch fireworks, things like that. I personally wouldn't wear something like this if I was gonna be at the beach all day, but if I'm going for like a nighttime party or something like that, then this is gonna be perfect. And now I'm just going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC30. The only reason why I'm using this concealer is because it's very, very long wearing. It does not budge at all. So if you're gonna be outside all day, especially because of 4th of July, most people are outside for barbecues or something like that, and this is not going to move at all. So this is a perfect concealer for especially being outside for a long period of time. And here I'm just taking the excess concealer that was still left on my brush and I'm applying it to the high points of my face just so that brightness is evenly distributed throughout my face. And then I'm just gonna set it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder. And I'm also going to set my lids with this. And here I'm just, you know, smelling my semi-sweet chocolate bar palette because it smells like straight cocoa, it smells so good. And then here I'm going in with a blending brush and I'm applying mousse and truffled mixed together. And this is gonna be kind of the starting point on mapping out where my cut crease is going to be. And if you can tell, I'm applying this color right above where my actual crease is. So I have somewhat hooded lids, so this is gonna allow me to have a little bit extra room for my lid color, and it'll make my eyes look a little bit more wide awake. And once I get to the outer corner of my eye, I'm flicking it out a little bit. And now I'm going into the color frosting on a small angled brush, and I'm gonna cut my crease with this. So I'm going to the bottom of where I mapped out that color, and I'm just sharpening it up just a little bit. And I'm applying very little product at a time. I would say I probably went in like five or six times to really build up this color. And I'm going from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. And all the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description bar below. And here I'm just going in with a clean blending brush and blending those colors together but making sure that I don't go underneath that line that I created. So I wanted to deepen the crease up just a little bit so I'm going in with a thin brush and using the color Hot Fudge, which is a little bit darker than the frosting color. And I'm just tracing the very bottom of this cut crease and flicking out like I did with all of the other colors. And what I do also is I'll create that line and then as you can tell here, I go and I flick it upwards. So it blends out just a little bit so it's not just like a random harsh line on your eye. And here I'm going into the color Coconut Cream and applying that to my entire lid and then cleaning up the bottom of that cook crease as well. 
Now I'm going in with an angled brush and applying Blueberry Swirl, which is that really pretty blue color that comes in the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. And I'm kind of applying this like I would create a winged liner and then going in and smoking it out in the corner and then slowly blending it into the inner corner. So yeah, I'm mostly concentrating this color on the outer corner and then like the bottom corner lash line and then blending it out towards the inner corner of my eye. And then here I'm just applying some gel liner and tracing out my wing. But then I end up going in with a liquid liner because I wanted it to be just a little bit darker. So I went with my Alme liquid liner. It's just a liner that I've used for many, many years. It's super black. And yeah, I'm just using this to perfect my wing liner just a little bit. And I'm not bringing this liner all the way into the inner corner. I would say I brought it about three quarters of the way in. I'm going in with the same brush with the same blue color and I'm smoking out that liner that we just created just to make it look a little bit more diffused. And since I don't want the bottom lash line to be too dramatic, I'm just going in with that transition shade that we used on our crease and just running it under our lower lash line. All right, so I went ahead and I applied mascara off camera and now I'm just going in with my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the number two and just bronzing up my skin with this. And now to add a little bit of highlighter, I'm going in with High Beam by Benefit, which is a liquid highlighter, and I'm applying that to my cheekbones and blending it out with my, what is this? With my Tapered Kabuki F86 brush by uh, Sigma, and then going in with my Mary Luminizer highlighter on top of that. You guys definitely don't have to do both of these, it's just going in with a cream and then going in with a powder on top will just help um, intensify it just a little bit. And now for blush, I'm going in with the color Coralisa by Benefit, and it's like a peachy color, and it's very subtle too, so it's perfect for this look. And now I'm just applying some Mary Luminizer highlighter to the inner corner, and then whatever is left over on my brush, I'm gonna apply it to my brow bone. And now I'm going into Max Ruby Woo, and I'm applying that to my lips but it was a little bit too matte for me, so I just applied that to the inner part of my lips, and then I went in with the color Arthur by Chanel, and I applied that to the rest of my lips, just to add a little bit more sheen and glossiness to my lips. And now I'm just applying my Smashbox Primer Water just to lock everything in and give me a little bit of moisture, and that is the final look.